It is looking below. It is roaring. Will the Indominus Rex get to revenge? Welcome back, T-Rex members. This is the Alpha Tyrannosaurus, the talking T-Rex. Hey, yeah, Alpha Jossie speaking here. And welcome back to Jurassic World Evolution 2. We're back in the sandbox Jurassic World here with the Lagoon with another mod video. And today we'll be checking out if the Indominus Rex can actually interact with the aquatic Mosasaurus. Of course, we see right here with the help of the terrain uh, tool mods uh, we have right here. We can actually place a hatchery into the lagoon. And we're going to see what happens. But before we get into that, make sure to stop the T-Rex foot on that subscribe and bell button to get notified for more Jurassic World Evolution 2 content. And be aware that Frontier, the makers of this game, do not support mods. If you want to play around with these mods yourself, it's your responsibility if your game crisis is not on them and it's not on me. Now, we do have another Mosasaurus in here just for the release animation to see so I put in a white Mosasaurus right here and there we go yes awesome and it is back and hopefully <laughs> we're gonna see some interactions between you and the Indominus so I'm actually going to tranquilize you straight away there we go and block off uh, this right here so we're going to remove all the lagoons we see right here otherwise the most source could just swim away from the indominus rex and we we can't have that so now i've placed down a hatcher with already an indominus rex in here and it's about to be released and we're going to actually see if it falls to the bottom of the lagoon or stays above the surface that is trying to get out is gonna have some trouble of course because it has to break in the lagoon this is the opposite from the movie of course this is now the indominus actually wants to fight the mosasaurus after the big battle against rexy and blue there but i don't know it seems to be uh scared <laughs> it's scared to go into the water <laughs> there we go come on you got this i i promise there are no sharks in here only uh one big um, <laughs> marine reptile that here we see right here. But it's still not a shark, so <laughs> come on, you got this. You <laughs> it's going crazy in the bushes there. We can actually see it right there. Oh, look at that. Oh, the eye, of course. Oh, yes. Oh, it actually is going to release. There we go. And here we have it. Indominus Rex being released into the Mosasaurus Lagoon. Oh, it's sinking! There it goes! <laughs> Where is it going? <laughs> it is gone! Whoosh! It's out of there! Wow! No Mosasaurus needed for that one. It is gone! It's out of here. Where is it? <laughs> it is... <laughs> Where is it? Okay, um... <laughs> it's below the lagoon. <laughs> Underneath the bottom of the lagoon. Can we actually see its head somewhere peeking out of the, the floor? But no, it's <laughs> It just sank voop, all the way down <laughs> Okay, so hmm that's what happens when you place the hatchery out of the lagoon a bit um, Well, I, I guess we're not gonna see much of that uh, in Nominus Rex. It is gone. <laughs> it joined the uh, <laughs> the underwater world mosasaurus from uh, the last episode. Oh, it's it's out of there. Okay, well I guess I have to place down another one. <laughs> Let's uh, just place this one in the lagoon, literally in it. So um, of course the path. There we go. Quickly connect that. And let's actually <laughs> grab ourselves another Jurassic World movie skinned Indominus Rex. There, select the egg, and hopefully, this one will stay above the water or just in it, in the lagoon, <laughs> not out of it. So, let's see it. Of course, it's gonna have a little bit of a delay there. Oh, this one's even <laughs> more scared to go into the lagoon and water. The, the other Mosasaurus was like, nope, I don't need the Mosasaurus anymore. That was the canon in Dominus Rex. He has seen that before, definitely. <laughs> so, even the Mosasaurus didn't <laughs> seem unbothered there. Okay, we're just gonna have to wait until this uh, Indominus Rex decides to go out of there. Hopefully this one will not sink. 
Probably. Otherwise, we'll just um, buy this enormous Rex on floaties to put around its arms there that I have as well. So just put it around the arms that I have right here and then put them right here <laughs> to, to let him float. That would, be <laughs> that would be funny to see, wouldn't it? This is taking a while. Let's speed this up. Um, this one really does not want to go. This one has secretly seen. There he goes. Where is it? We can't see it. Okay, there it is. The camera. Oh, my word. There it is. <laughs> it is um, good level, though. <laughs> so, let's see it. Indominus Rex. Oh, look at that. The aquatic one. This one has got some um, <laughs> modifications there. Look at it. The Mosasaurus next to it as well. This one is actually walking. And there you have it. An Indominus Rex. In your lagoon. <laughs> and the Mosasaurus is just swimming next to it. Or oh, circling around it. It, <laughs> it would have been amazing in Frontier. Oh, well. It, they actually go in the, that the Enormous Rex does look at the Mosasaurus there. The Mosasaurus is like, what is this? I have seen you somewhere before and it is roaring. It is not like to be in here. It doesn't like go down to the bottom of the lagoon it just stays up there it would have been hilarious to see the little um, <laughs> feet uh, and legs pedal like that <laughs> to of course let it stay above the water now it has an invisible uh, plateau it's standing on but here you have it <laughs> just an indominus casually standing um, in your lagoon it would have been amazing what I wanted to say before if oh this one's going in for the attack yes it's gonna drag it underwater <laughs> no, you turn is not gonna do it. It, it, it. It's still probably full of the cannon in Nominus Rex. It doesn't need another appetite. But what I wanted to say for the third time now is that it, I would have loved to see a unique interaction and animation between the Indominus Rex and most source. Um, there, if you have your like Indominus Rex enclosure ne um, paddock next to the Mosasaurus lagoon there, and you would not feed your Mosasaurus properly, and Indominus would actually like be hanging around here, try to look over the edge and stuff like that if it ever broke out. And then the Indominus Rex just jumps, of course, out of the water and grabs it in and then eats the Mosasaurus there. Frontier could add that in the future, um, as a feature in the future. Um, but as for right now, it, with modding, it just stands still in the lagoon. Takes a little bath right here. Just chilling. It's making friends with them. Um, it's stuck. It's, yeah, it's totally stuck. Um, <laughs> what happens if I actually release another dinosaur in here? What other dinosaur can we throw in the lagoon? <laughs> oh my word. Maybe an Indoraptor. Maybe, maybe the uh, most source wants to taste something new. Another hybrid. Uh, maybe another delicious hybrid. Let's actually put in a albino white Indoraptor in here. I think that would suit uh, it the best. There we go. Let's put that in. And there we are. Of course, select the eggs. And then maybe that would trigger the Indominus Rex to go out of the... Get out of the way, actually. Because this normally happens um, in Jurassic World Evolution 1. Just stands there and you need another dinosaur to... Oh, look at that tail. <laughs> it so looks like it's hunting down. Uh, you need another dinosaur to actually, like, wake it up. And then the dinosaur gets out of the way and stuff like that. So, let's release an Indoraptor. Maybe the Indoraptor even is a bit scared of the Mosaurus there. It is roaring. I see it. <laughs> we can't really see it, but uh, we actually need to view it underwater there. Oh, that's a tree. I thought it was. <laughs> oh, where is it? Can we actually see? Oh, it's there. Is this the skin for it? Is this it? What is this? That's, that is not the Indoraptor. No, that's a tree. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was a uh, leg of the Indoraptor there. Of course, it needs to run out of the hatchery. We'll just see in a second. We do hear it. Oh, I see the feet there. There they are. The tippy toes are already in the water there. <laughs> there we go. Come out of the hatchery. The Indominus Rex is waiting. Look at this. Maybe the Mosasaurus is scared of this uh, Indominus Rex. It does not want to interact and fight against this Mosasaurus. The real fight would be... Who would go down on hunger the fastest? And for me to do that is actually to remove the shark feeders to not um, let the Mosasaurus, of course, have the, its health up and uh, actually uh, <laughs> starve. If I do have that off in the settings, let me just check that. Um, don't starve. There we go. Yeah, so I do have that off. And the first one to die is, I guess, the victor. Uh, since they don't battle, of course, and don't struggle for survival if the Indominus actually 
and gets into the lagoon. There we go. We have an Indoraptor. Oh, look at that. <laughs> that actually... Oh, my word. <laughs> you can walk on water. And it didn't trigger the Anomalous to get out of the way. Now... The Indoraptor is just stuck in, um, well, a not very pleasant place. It's just stuck in <laughs> Dominus Rex's rear there. It's just, <laughs> oh my word, we need to help you get out of there. That is, <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> no, you need to get out of the way. You really need to get out. Even the Indominus is like, what are you doing? Mosaurus is getting closer. Look at that, the size comparison. You can really see now. It is quite, um, it's not as big as the movie, definitely not. It is, uh, well, it is of course still bigger than the Indominus Rex, but kind of the same uh, thick size there in, um, not in length, but in, uh, not in height either, but in width. They, uh, they do seem to have the same size there, so <laughs> yeah, this is a juvenile Mosasaurus. He's, he has never seen this before, he doesn't really know what to do with land dinosaurs, in this case these hybrids. Oh, Dr. Henry Wu, thank you for joining us here. And putting your hybrids in the lagoon to get eaten by mosaurs, but it's not really working out as the way I expected it to go. But, part of me was already expecting this there. This is the closest we're going to see them on the bottom. <laughs> we're just going to have some shadows. But this is it. Are they actually starving? Yes, they are. Um, the health is not going down, but food, of course. There we go. Shed with Mosasaurus. That is not something you see every day. Shed with a Mosasaurus. It's neutral. <laughs> it dislikes the Indoraptor more than the actual Mosasaurus that it's sharing the lagoon with when it's swimming. That's interesting. So it actually, like, could <laughs> be in the same enclosure. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> is the Mosasaurus there. If I, if we actually go to the normal Indominus Rex enclosure we have right here, we have another Indominus Rex here, with I think the default uh, scam. Not too sure, or it's the normal one. No, it's also a um, blank one, I think. Not too sure. <laughs> it's still not totally blank, but uh, anyways, it is somewhat blank to the movie there. If we actually release a Mosasaurus in here, because we do have a Lagoon Hatchery, and we kind of could put it in the water like that there we go and if we put a mo oh it's offline of course the path we need the path for that let's actually move you a bit out otherwise it's gonna register as a breakout so there we go we're gonna remove some rocks here as well to have it a bit of view put you in a bit of a water there to help you a bit oh we can't anymore oh well and then connect the path where's the path for that oh, it's all the way over there we got it. It's connected. And there we go. We can... What? There's a... Fe <laughs> oh, but don't mind that. <laughs> um, we, let's release a Mosasaurus in here. That's why I originally wanted to do as well. Is that... <laughs> What's the outcome of this going to be? We have put it in an aviary, but what if we put it in the Indominus Rex enclosure? We're about to find out. So, poof. There's the Mosasaurus there. I think it's just going to go underwater there. Yeah, it... <laughs> It's clipped out. We can put the hatchery a bit above ground. I'm not too sure there. Maybe if we put the ground a bit higher. But that didn't seem to work uh, that well in the last episode. But we can try it again. We could try it again. Somewhere around here. And now actually place down a lagoon hatch. Does it go up? No, it doesn't go up, does it? A bit. It does go up. Like this. There we go. <laughs> now we're talking. So let's uh, connect the path, like, um, <laughs> nothing is happening, and there we go, let's put a Mosasaurus in here as well. Oh my word. <laughs> we do want to see some more interaction between them both. Start the task and release this Mosasaurus as well, so let's see how this is going to um, <laughs> unfold on itself here. Let's see, let's see. Well, the Mosasaurus being released there, can we actually spectate the Mosasaurus? Yes, we can. Will it stay underwater? Oh, we see the splashes happening here, but it's really going underwater there. <laughs> we so can't spectate it. Oh, look at this. The splashes we see right here. Wow, that was pretty cool to see. I think it's just stuck on water. Wow, you can actually create. Whoa, you could do something creative with this. Like um, hot water here, steaming hot water. That's uh, pr <laughs> pretty cool. It's just on the water. Yeah, it's uh, below ground there. It's just casually swimming there. But this actually looks... Look at this. Oh, that, whoa, where'd you come from? 
Please stand still and... Oh, this is a massive gate. Release the almighty Mosasaurus in the Indominus Rex enclosure. And there it is! <laughs> Look at it go! The floating Mosasaurus going down oh look at this hunting down the indominus going after it <laughs> and there it goes and casually is stuck right here there you go but if i actually look at it <laughs> if we put this up a bit i think we can um as for right now we can't i don't know why we okay we really can't it's because we're in the water there now it's a drought and we're gonna put it up anyway. So let's put it up a bit. Is that the maximum we can do? Not to show up oh, that. <laughs> now we don't have a Mosasaurus anymore. Where's the Mosasaurus? Hold on. It is hunting something. Where's it going? It is hunting. So Ooh. <laughs> and it's gone. Okay. Um, radius. Let's put you. Oh, it's obstructed. There we go. Guys, oh, see the tail of the Mosasaurus. Ah, oh, there it is. I just want to have it a bit above there. No, that's okay. And a bit more, a bit more. I think this would be fine. Let's actually use the flatten now. No, nope, just a bit more. And now use the flatten. There we go. <laughs> yes! This is a Mosasaurus. Oh my word, Indominus Rex! Stop! You're chasing the Jeep! <laughs> you need to chase down some Mosasaurus as we see right here. Can we still put it in water? There it goes. That's a bit better, isn't it? <laughs> but it can't move. All of them seem to get stuck. And then that's it. You need to deal uh, with that. So this is a stuck Mosasaurus. But it's a cool uh, little addition to your park. And then, of course, obviously remove these and these. And make it all flatten again. Like nothing has happened. Just a casual uh, Mosasaurus in your enclosure. This is the... The actual <laughs> addition we wanted to see in the parks right there. Ta-da! Normal Mosasaurus in there. Shared with an Indominus. Yes, shared with Indominus. Yeah, see? It's neutral. They can just live with each other, have a great time there, watch some TV together. They're going to become best buddies. Definitely. <laughs> Mosasaurus is like, is this pond in mine? It's casually drinking. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, amazing. This is what I wanted to see. <laughs> now fight to the death. Yes, we do have uh, combat on because you can't turn it off at the time being here. Let's see who's dying first, the uh, the Mosasaurus. Let's see. It requires a status uh, check, so let's do that real quick. Let's, uh, let's use the other ranger station. Yes, with the beautiful music, needs a good hatchery. Oh, we did actually remove that there. Let's just put that one down real quick right there. And then connect the path. You really need to have a lagoon. Low health. Oh boy, which one? Oh, <laughs> it's the Indominus Rex that's somewhere. <laughs> Can we actually still check it out if we head to the lagoon? No, that is... No, if we go down here... No, we can't actually. That Indominus is unsavable. <laughs> it's gonna drown. It's been holding its breath for about... 25 minutes now, maybe 20. <laughs> Over 20 minutes. It's doing a great job, but it's gonna drown. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> F in chat for the, uh, the drowned Indominus Rex there. Let's see, let's do a status check on both of them. Uh, task, a status check on Indominus and task four. Okay. Uh, do we have to do everything ourselves here? Unreachable by vehicle. We're still gonna try. Oh, it's, it's, oh you can't. You can't. Okay. Well, that's interesting. So you can't actually, even though a drone is going to go in here and checks on the la <laughs> Laguna um, reptiles and, and stuff like that. It, it can't actually check if dinosaurs are dying when they're in the lagoon. Look at the Indominus Rex looking down there. It's like, yeah, I'm watching you. <laughs> it's roaring at it as well. I'm watching you. Can we tranquilize these though? Because there's no aviary this time in the way. Okay, let's tranquilize both of them. Can we actually tranquilize the Indominus Rex? Nah, let's let it drown. <laughs> How cruel am I? Yeah, just let it drown. <laughs> it's, I, I, I told you, it's unsavable. How is a dart from the helicopter going through the ground and try to save it? Okay, let's actually um, see there. Let's, let's try it for ourselves. Let's uh, put a direct control there going through the monorail right there. 
So, <laughs> there's the drone to check on the uh, Mosasaurus. So, let's tranquilize you. Um, can we tranquilize the Indominus? Let's see. Right in the eye or on the cheek. That's also fine. It's not running away. It's just accepting it. Um, there we go. That one actually got blocked. And that is... Yeah, it needs three. And then flops down. And there it goes. Ah, uh, now it's actually... Now the water physics has uh, kicked in. And I finally freed you in the raptor. You should be <laughs> thankful there. Just accept this. Oh, the Mosasaurus. Can the Mosasaurus actually eat up the Indominus? And there goes the Indoraptor. There we go. So, what health is the is it at? Oh, it's still at 100, but it does not have any food. Look at that. <laughs> and there you have it. Indominus is just casually floating there. The Mosasaurus does not care. Does not benefit from the tranquilized land dinosaurs in the lagoon. Um, to actually feed itself. It's looking for food now and then, obviously, because it's uh, because it's starving. But it's not actually hunting down the dinosaurs. Interesting, interesting. The Indominus Rex did do that with the Pteranodons, of course. But the <laughs> if the Pteranodons uh, broke out, it's, uh, it's more chance for that to happen. And I think that <laughs> that's actually normal. <laughs> Would have been weird to see the Indominus Rex being hunted down by Mosasaurus, but I wanted to see that. I wanted to, to let <laughs> show that here <laughs> as for data goes, because that actually um, something like that hap uh, happened when we had the Mosasaurus break out. It actually said like um, danger to humans when the Mosasaurus broke out. Well, that's something you didn't see every day. So I actually did want to see the Indominus Rex being hunted down. By. Oh, it's back! It is! To the, it went. <laughs> it came up to the surface. And there we go. Starved to death. It's a dead Mosaurus. This is awesome! I'm, uh, I'm sorry. No, this. <laughs> that out of context there. Sorry. Um, what I meant was um, to have this as a decoration in your lagoon. Right here. The events after. Um, just after Jurassic World. This is what happened in the morning. Yes, the Mosasaurus couldn't swallow the Indominus Rex hole. It just killed it and sometimes takes a bite from it. But apart from that, it's just on the surface there. And by, it, um, by time after the years went by, went down. And then, of course, uh, only bones were left for Dr. Wu to retrieve one of his uh, special uh, specimens right there. So <laughs> you could just have this <laughs> float on your lagoon. It looks awesome, by the way. Just having a Mosasaurus swim around there. I'll still trying to swim around the other two dinosaurs there, but <laughs> this looks pretty cool. Look, <laughs> I like how the water physics work for this, when it's uh, dead or tranquilized. But the tranquilized looks less um, comfortable there with the feet up. <laughs> with the feet up. It's a bit cold. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> Well, there you go. I think now the health is going down. Is it... Oh, this one's 54% health. And this one's actually on 95, 94, expanding the territory. Does it still need to? Does it still need to? Is the Are the dinosaurs really claiming the territory of the lagoon from the Mosaurus? I'm not too sure. But if we triple speed this up, we will actually see who won in the don't starve fight to the finish because uh, they can't fight with each other so we're just going to see who's gonna die first how's the Indoraptor actually doing um, no the Indoraptor oh it's gonna be no that is the Indoraptor it's on 59% uh, low health 50% 84 they're hungry I do believe the Indominus Rex will go down faster even though um, I did remove the feeder Later, but I don't think it it need that doesn't really matter. It doesn't have a large appetite Not too sure a large appetite there. It looks like every time it's hunting uh, <laughs> The Mosaur is there not the Mosaur it's Indominus Rex. I'm not too sure. Maybe it has some um, the, the normal uh, clear genomes for it and modifications, but I'm not too sure the last uh, last thing we could do to get a closest interaction with them is just for me to place down a shark feeder on top of the most source and then it just kind of snaps at the um, the Indominus Rex or Indoraptor right here. Of course, we don't want it to snap like that. Um, I think, yeah, the Mosasaurus has de requires Lagoon. 
you're in a lagoon there. I think that would be fine. So we have a shark right here. <laughs> and the most source will definitely. 41% and 61 actually. Indominus Rex might win. You know what? I'm not gonna yeah, do this. No, I'm gonna actually. You are going into the animation already, aren't you? No, you actually stopped. Okay. Or did you? No. Okay. 59. Maybe um, Indominus Rex can still win. 39% health. Mosaurus, 56. There. Even though the Indominus is clearly drowning, its nose is underwater. <laughs> it's not looking so good. So that's, uh, that's uh, one of the downsides of uh, being a land dinosaur in the lagoon. <laughs> waking up, hold up. It is waking up. The Mosasaurus. <laughs> How is it going to wake up? No, the Indominus. Getting those names way too confused uh, too many times. Waking up in 30 seconds. How is it going to wake up? Is it still going to be on the same level when it wakes up? We're about to find out. The health is on pause. It's waking up now. Oh, it's going. Oh, where'd it go? Oh, no, it's gone. Oh, my word, it's gone. Yeah, it, it is gone. It is. <laughs> it joined the other uh, Indominus Rex. It is out of there. Okay, that is what... Oh, it's back! <laughs> oh, my God. This... Uh, what is happening? <laughs> this Indominus Rex is a magician. Wow, look at that. It's playing some tricks on the Mosasaurus. And it's totally fine. Where did it go? 29% and there goes the Indoraptor as well. I at least in a different pose. You don't have to smell the Indominus Rex's butt the entire time anymore. Let's see. 41 and then 26. Alright, let's see. <laughs> oh my word. Okay. So, will the Indominus Rex get her revenge? We will see on the other can Indominus Rex. It's... it's yeah, it's still uh, having a close, taking a close eye there on the Mosaurus. Keeping a close eye there. 33. Oh, it's gone again. It's got to go up again, isn't it? What happened now? It's not even dead. It just <laughs> went up again. Uh, down again. Is it going to go up? Where is it? I want to see it go up again. Where are you? That's the Mosaurus. Is it <laughs> Where is it? It is gone. It's secretly swimming somewhere in the lagoon. It is gone. Is the same going to happen to you? So I'm not too sure. It's totally gone. <laughs> what is happening? Why is it going up? Oh, it's going. 2%. It's going to go up again. Definitely. It's going to come up at least. Are we going to see that happen? Where were you? Dead dinosaur. Mosasaurus. Where are you? Uh, waiting for it. The Mosaurus. Oh, there goes the Indoraptor. <laughs> um, Mosaurus is not here. It died. Starved to death. It still, it hasn't floated to the uh, <laughs> surface yet. For the Mosaurus, uh, little appetite there. The other Indominus Rex is gone. I'm guessing the Mosaurus ate that. Yes, it did ate it. Let, let me just <laughs> get into the story here. Um, the <laughs> Indoraptor is a goner. What if... I'm a bit too late with that, am I? Um, yeah. I wanted to remove that and actually see where it was. So, but of course we can't remove this. Because it's gonna be too late. But what if we actually did... Let's speed this up. Um, what happens with the bodies? I think we could still have that. So, we have the helicopter coming in and tranquilize the Mosasaurus. Let's see, it's on 19% health there. I did want to see a uh, special um, cool animation of it going for the shark feeder there, but we will see. Let's um, <laughs> let's export you out there for a second. Let's export you in here. There we go. Let's put you in there. Let's uh, let's speed this up. The dead dinosaurs are there. If I remove the lagoon, hmm, <laughs> will they come up and be like on the the ground there for for us to see, or is it really? <laughs> below the earth of uh, of uh, Isla Nublar there. We will see. Okay, let's remove the... Oh, it's gone. No, they are gone. They're... <laughs> we can't... Can we remove them? No. There's no icons appearing. It's a lost cause for them. It's not going to happen. Um, you are actually dying. Let's put you actually back. You need a lagoon. Okay. 
Let's place it down real quick. I do want to have that um, other thing as well. Otherwise, it's um, totally to waste. And I do want to see something close to it. Um, the, the Indominus Rex being hunted down there. So let's actually um, tranquilize you again. And place another lagoon where it was right there. So now we have it nice and uh, good into the hatchery. And let's actually release another Indominus Rex. While the Mosasaurus is being tranquilized in the background. So, let's see that. We can release the Indominus Rex again. That's going to take a while because it does not, obviously does not want to be released again. It, it knows what happened, <laughs> what has happened to the other um, Indominus Rexes that um, tried to go into the lagoon. Let's place you down right here again. So, there we have it. And place down the feeder that I uh, initially had planned. But I do want to see the Indominus Rex. Oh, there it is. It's coming out again. And it's gonna stay still right there. Oh, the Mosasaurus is actually gonna land right on top of it. <laughs> let's, um, let's see that. There he goes. Okay, and Indominus Rex actually <laughs> have the weight on him. It's going right through it. There it goes. <laughs> All right, let's put the feeder in here. To feed our um, Mosasaurus right there. I think that's the closest we can put the shark to it. Otherwise, it's going to snap to the side of it. And there we go. Oh, it's a bit... Oh, we, it's a bit to the... Okay, let's move you a bit more. I don't want it to snap against the... Let's, let's see. Um... Let's see. Okay. Let's build another lagoon because it's obviously not working. Um, we can't snap it. There we go. Oh, no. We needed to have it the other way. Let's snap it like that so the humans will be in the lagoon once again. There we go. And now, let's move you a bit closer to have that view that we wanted to. Right there. So, that's good. And now, the shark would be right on top of kind of... The, the Mosasaurus. No, I really want to get this right. <laughs> Even though there's not an interaction between them, but I do want to see it happen. And that's good enough. Okay, that's good enough. Let's see it. Starve to death. Whoops. <laughs> um, win for the Indominus Rex, I guess. Okay. We gotta place down another uh, one. Can we move this? I'm not too sure. Move the hatchery over here. Uh, let's just do this. <laughs> and connect the path again. Every time. Okay. And let's release some other Mosasaurus. Now, how many Mosasaurus and Indominus Rexes have we actually sacrificed for this experiment? And release it once again. So this one, finally seeing a normal release animation there of the Mosasaurus. Finally in the lagoon there. And this one hopefully will uh, grab the, Mos uh, the Indominus Rex again uh, by its neck. And this one, this is a cool uh, viewing platform in the water there. <laughs> what a show. And let's see it. We just have to speed it up for this uh, dinosaur thread. That's the actual Mosasaurus, I think. Yeah, they should do guess. That's what I was talking about. The Indominus Rex is a sitting duck waiting for the Mosasaurus to grab his throat and kill it. Definitely kill it. Let's, let's time it perfectly so it looks like it killed it. <laughs> and there it goes. Let's tranquilize the Indominus. And I think the Mosasaurus will go down. Not sure. Is this a... Oh, not yet. It... Wow, that was way faster than I actually thought. Let's stop it. <laughs> All right, where's the Mosasaurus? And I think it's going to go any second now. Any second. Or is the... it's because the Indominus is in the way. It's going uh, through the... Uh... <laughs> it's a viewing gallery. The, the viewing platform, uh, lagoon viewing platform. Let's see, the Indominus Rex is not having it. Still not having it, he's like, not again. Maybe it's in the way. Maybe. Let's see, the Mosasaurus is running low on food. Running low. Hmm. And maybe I do need to tranquilize the Indominus Rex for it to happen. Oh, what's gonna happen? Is it gonna go into the animation? We need to see if it goes into the animation. It's just, now it's circling around keeps on circling. Maybe it's benefiting from the dead Mosasaurus. Not too sure. Oh, no. There we go. This is definitely it. Uh, <laughs> yes, the Indominus Rex knows. 
the Indominus Rex knows. It is looking below, it is roaring. Will the Indominus Rex get to revenge? That was so close. <laughs> oh wow, you did not get your revenge. I'm sorry. <laughs> yes, and now you, you will die. So there we go. That is, I guess, the closest we'll ever see to a Mosaurus attacking the Indominus Rex right there. It is hungry. Well, there's a shark right there for you. If you can reach it, bet you can. So <laughs> I'm going to end this here. Let me know um, <laughs> what you thought of this. And let me know if you actually think that uh, Frontier should add an interaction between the Mosaurus and Indominus Rex. And as well, also make sure to stomp a tears foot on that subscribe and bell button if you want to get notified for more of these Jurassic World Evolution 2 videos. And I hope to see all of you lovely aquatics back into the next video and hope all of you lovely Mosasaurus are going to have a great day. Goodbye T-Rexes, Alpha Tyrannosaurus, the talking T-Rex, out.